Not sure if Talia or Talia, but I'll be calling her Talia through the video. A cinematic and a story were released about Talia. The cinematic is a follow-up to her story, which is absolutely awesome. Talia's story is by far the best out of the lore's Wright has released, in my opinion of course, because of a few points I would like to talk about right now. I suggest you read the story before continuing this video due to spoilers. The first point is that we do not know who is the man she's interacting with through the story until a later part, when his name is revealed as Yasuo. Second one is the fact that she gave Yasuo his hair tie. The third one is Yasuo's use of an in-game quote and his in-game R, revealing that Talia has a knockoff ability before her abilities were even released. And the last one is the fact that it shows us a memory of when Talia was a Noxus, which might grow into a future theory. As for the character herself, the best parts are that her kit fits in perfectly with her cinematic, as well as the lack of fan service. Because in the past, almost all of Riot's female champions were filled with fan service. Perfect bodies, revealing clothes, and so on. They just did not give you this warrior vibe. But these days, Riot's been releasing female champions like Kalista, Ilawi, heck, even Rek'Sai. Riot is stepping away from the whole perfect look setting and focusing more on their personalities and stories to give them a strong background. Talia is the same, she has close to no fan service, her personality is clear and she doesn't have that perfect look, because she doesn't need it. A character's worth isn't determined by their look. Also for the last part, the thing I like the most is the fact that they didn't make her kit too strong, nor too weak. It's sort of weird if you ask me, which might be a background to the fact that she can't control her powers that well yet. Thanks for watching guys and until next time.